Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. These are the mods for Friday the 21st of January. Uh, we start off with an update for the Cat Troll and Pig Troll diesel tanks by Famari99. Uh, they've had an update um, and we'll get straight on with it then because that's the only update. In front of me I have got the Rubberwork G6260. Um, this is a, I say standard, a standard cultivator. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty already because I just... I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll check it to make sure it, it does what I think it's going to do because I keep getting caught out. Uh, this is 4.32 megabytes download, two slots on console. This is by Rona, Schleuterfan 1977, Fabian, Gogo Bear, Modelica and Luca. It's 2.6 metre. And it will cultivate. It will leave small stones. We'll go with that. Let's say it will go. With, it will do small stones <laughs> until I'm proved otherwise. Under cultivators, twelve thousand to buy. Slot count will come down from two to one, so no major hassle. Only requires ninety horsepower to run. Options available. We can have design one like this. Design two. Design three. Design four. And back to design one. Those are our options. Let's start this up. There we go. Stones straight away. So it will cultivate 2.6 meters. It will leave small stones, unless you've got your stones turned off, in which case it will just cultivate. Nice animation. It gets, it gets dirty fairly quickly. I did a tiny little strip over there just to make sure it worked, and this little bit here. Um, but I kind of like that. There we go. Lovely. The Rubberwerk G6260 by Rona, Schleuterfan1977, Fabian Gogo Bear, Model Leica, and Luca. Moving on from there then. We've got these. This is the Water Hydrants Pack uh, by Farmer22. 0 0.95 megabytes download. One slot, two slots, two slots. Straight away I thought these seem really familiar. This one and this one especially. This one, not so much. The one that's kind of opened up. I do like that. That looks great. Um, we had a pack a while ago. I say a while ago, not that long ago. Um, by Paisel, the Hydrant. Well, hydrant water, wasn't it? I'm sure it had at least two of these in it. Anyway, regardless of that. Uh, once purchased, you do have to still pay for the water. It's just giving you a convenient location. They're not very big, don't take up a huge amount of room. Um, so place them is fairly straightforward. Under build mode, these were under container, I think it was. So I thought tools originally. There you go, under container. So the first one is 600. Second one's 800. Third one is 800. Nice and straightforward to place. We can rotate. Not much else to say about those, really. <laughs> Let's see. It will still charge you. Um, that's the water hydrants pack by Farmer22. Nice weathering on them as well. They look kind of used, like they've been there a while. Very cool. Uh, next, we've got this. This is the Lizard Weight Pusher. This is by Hispano. 1.08 megabytes download. One slot on console. There's a few different configurations you can have on this. You can have it standard weight. You can have it with all these different extra weights on top. You can have the side pusher, left and right. Well, it depends which way around you look at it, but anyway, left and right, or both. Um, the side pushes are handy if you're doing bailing work, um, or you just want to push people out of the way when you're going down the street, or you know, whatever it might be, you might be trying to push out of the way. Um, slightly curved, so if you are doing bales, it should roll them around the side. Uh, front hitch, that is an option as well, and that does hook up to pin hitch trailers. Um, I could get it to hook up to a ball hitch, but then it's not supposed to because it is a pin hitch. As you can see, you will find this under weights. 
on the very end here. Uh, slot counts one anyway, so it doesn't change. Uh, 3,500 for the base model, which is this. So we can have 800 kilo. Then we go up 900, 1,000, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, back again. So 1, 3 is the most on there. No pushers, right pusher, left pusher, both. Then it says without screw. This is an interesting one. And then with vice, it puts a little vice on the side of it. So I suppose if you're out in the field and you've got to do some work and you need to clamp something onto... It was an intro. I don't think I've ever seen that as an option or anything before. A little vice on the side of the thing. But anyway... Um, Without hitch or with hitch, we can change the main colour to anything on that palette. And then the colour reflective, as you can see on the ends, you can have it with red, yellow or orange. I mean, not necessarily need to see it picked up on a vehicle, but... There we go. I like that. I mean, I say that about most mods. That's very unusual that I get a mod again that like that. <laughs> so there you go. The Lizard Weight Pusher by Hispano. Uh, next, we have got this. Uh, this is the Capello Quasar HS16. Also by Hispano. Uh, this is three slots. I mean, it was surprising actually when we got when the game came out that we didn't have a larger base version there's a john deere one that's 12 meters isn't there i think but we didn't have the uh capello ones so yeah i don't know why 5.43 megabytes download if i haven't already said that which i got sidetracked i'm not sure if i did um which you'll find under corn headers so if we go along we've got the diamond eight six meter we've got the diamond 12 which is a nine meter and then, yeah, they've got the John Deere C16F, which is a 12 metre, but it's, it's more specifically John Deere. So this one gives us a 12 metre, but it does give you the option to change the colour to fit it to a lot of different um, types of harvester. We can change the main colour, Capello, Case, Ideal Graphite, Class Green, Class White, John Deere Green, John Deere Yellow. And then Design Colour does the um, actual snoots they are snoots aren't they um like that so if i go up to that it's going to be the wrong way around isn't it but it doesn't matter yeah should be the other way around shouldn't it <laughs> let's go that looks better there we go uh, so you can mix and match it to suit whatever vehicle you happen to be using 125 grand with a couple of options changed and that i think goes up to 138 so it's not cheap but then the 12 meter one Next to it, the John Deere is 127, so they're not cheap, are they, for a, a large header like that? Let's start this up. Nice smooth animation, nice sound effects to go with it. Let's turn it on. Same thing with it in operation. Nice animations. 12 meter corn header of the Capello variety. The Capello Quasar HS16 by Hispano. Very nice indeed. Moving on. We've got this. This is the JCB325T, this is by Landev, 14.22 megabytes download, five slots for the main vehicle. These aren't two separate ones, these are just options within the same one. This also comes with some JCB tools, uh, one slot, two, 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 two. We've got our bale prongs, bale forks, uh, log fork, pallet forks, 1,200 litre bucket and a stump grinder. I must admit, when I looked, I thought, oh, I'm puzzled. Why? We've already got this, but it's not. We've got New Holland, haven't we? Anyway, um, it's a little bit more expensive than the New Holland ones we've got at the base game. But again, it's about having those options. You might be a massive JCB fan and just fancy something a little bit different. Uh, both of these come pre-caged. But they do look good. So, you'll find those... Uh, oh, under vehicles would be the best place to look for those to start off with. Under skid steer loaders, 
So yeah, the, the two new Hollands are standard, 35 grand and 49. So at 58, a little bit more expensive, but doesn't matter, does it? So slot count comes down from five to one for any subsequent one you get. 74 horsepower. We've got the 260 is the standard with the uh, wheels. That will run at 12 miles an hour. If you go for the 325T with the tracks, that runs at eight miles an hour. So a little bit slower, but it depends. Yeah, what do you want to go for? A bit more traction, a bit less compaction, that kind of thing. But again, if you're going for a bit of speed around the yard, you might want to go for the wheeled version. There's no other options within that. Oh, yeah, and then the equipment. I mean, it's under um, skid steer loaders, but... And kind of, I mean, it duplicates a lot of stuff that we've got already, but it just matches up because it's the JCB stuff. So the barrel spear is 600. The brush and log fork is 1,200. Pallet fork is 700. Universal bucket is 800. And the stump grinder is 4,500. How does that compare to that? Oh, it's a little bit more expensive, isn't it? Um, skid steer loader tools will mix and match. So if you want to go for a cheaper one, you can mix and match them. It's entirely up to you. Um, oh, well, that's a good point. There's no options within those, are there? I don't think there are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just standard. There's no colour choices or anything like that, no. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's look it up. Horn. Lights. Now, these aren't tele skids. Um, it's just a boom up and boom down. There's no in or out, so there's no, um, yeah, it's not a telescopic boom arm. Nice height on those. Like I said, this one will do 12 miles an hour. One thing I did notice, if you go interior, I'm just thinking I know what's going to happen, the mirrors are going to be flickering, I'll just have to adjust that. Interior, for some reason, you're sat offset. If you look at it there, and you look at your position in relation to the cage at the front, if I go inside, we're offset to the right a little bit. The camera's just over a tiny little bit. I know the mirrors are right at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure why that is. I must admit, I, I like the fact, I do like cages on the vehicles and stuff like that for the projection stuff, but I have to say, if you are going interior, it really does hamper visibility. I mean, yes, you can still see out, but it's, it's just a little bit cool, isn't it? Um, and the tracked version, yeah, eight miles now. Boom Arm's got a nice speed to it as well, it's not, not, too, uh, not too shabby. I think this is the same as well for the seating position. Yeah, just over to the right. It's not it's not a major thing, it's just got a point out. Um, I think the only thing really that's got a lot of moving parts is the log fork. Uh, the um, stump grinder. Log fork just opens and closes. If you haven't used a stump grinder before, we've got our up down adjustment there. We've also got um, swing in so we can adjust it in all different ways. So, yeah. Which one's the one coming? Oh, what was that one? There we go. So, the JCB 325T by Landev. Will you see the welcome return? I say the welcome return. Well, yeah, the welcome return. Of course, why not? Um, of the Road Rage by Vector Man. This is 5.02 megabytes download, three slots on console. This will go up to 124 miles an hour. It's a little bit bonkers, a little bit cool. I must admit, I was wondering whether it would get a kind of throaty, rumbly V8 sound. It hasn't quite, and I'm no expert on American cars, American muscle car type, you know, but it's nice looking though. There's quite some nice options on this too. Uh, you'll find this under vehicles and cars. 60 grand. Like I say, 124 miles an hour top speed. 460 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a monster. You can have it in manual gearbox if you want. I've got an automatic, but you can. Um, so standard like that. Additional lights if you want some extra lights on the front. Main colour, anything on this palette. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure why I went with that. Uh, design colour, we do have some metallics here. So you've got stainless, chrome, 
interesting with stainless stick on that. I think I went for... What did I go for on the one I went? Might have been that. I think I went for the chromed. Um, but you can... Yeah. Oh no, that looks hideous. And that's not much better, actually. I suppose if it was just with a white... Or a red, you can make it look class, I guess. And that's class, as in the class manufacturer or not. That's classy. Anyway, you can see, see what I mean. Um, and then we've got a number plate option, front and rear, and however you want to go about that as well. Um, those are your options. Let's hop in. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, does it? You can open and close doors. Uh, L1, right stick side to side, opens and closes the right door. L1 and right stick up and down, close the left door. Oh, I'm really sat ball, I don't know. It's not very comfortable. So if you're a farmer and you need to get from A to B fairly quickly, if there's some kind of farming emergency down the side of town, as long as there's no sheriff or constabulary, you should be absolutely fine with this. The thing is with these, whenever you get something like this, this sort of speed, I go very DJ on this. I straight away I think, you need to put a ramp in somewhere. You need to put a ramp, see if you can jump rivers and canyons and anything. Just with this kind of speed, of course, why wouldn't you? You go all Dukes of Hazzard, don't you? Anyway, that's the Road Rage by Vectorman. Next up, it's a bit bumpy. we've got the, the Seed Runner 3755 3755XL, an Unverfirth Seed Runner 3755. Uh, this will do 4,000, well, it does 8,000 litres. It's partitioned, so 4,000 litres one side, 4,000 litres the other side. Um, it is technically an auger wagon, so it will do auger wagon type things, but seed and fertiliser. You can do the same in both, so you can do 8,000 litres of seed, 8,000 litres of fertiliser, or you can do, you know, like, it's kind of, yeah. 4,000 litres of each, whatever you want to do. It's your choice. What you put front, rear, both, you know. Really nice. Um, this is by 82 Studio. It is 7.86 megabytes download, five slots on console. As with most things, 82 Studio. There's a load of options for colour choices with um, uh, flat colours, it's like a glossy colour, satin. I think I went for satin on both of these. Um, and a few different options, of course, for rims. Nice animation, it's nice and tidy. Again, it was probably quite surprising that the, the game didn't come with, so didn't come with um, a seed runner, seed tender type thing out the box. But I guess the auger wagons will do seed and fertilizer so you could pick any auger wagon to do the same job i suppose um but this is a, a more dedicated thing so on the end of the seed runner 12,650 8,000 liters let's say both the same or split if you want to um and because it's an auger wagon it will take some of your your crops as well like wheat and barley oats canola sorghum sunflower soybean and corn Options available, like I say, main colour, we've got all these bulk colour sections. So if we go for, let's go for, that's quite a deep one actually, let's go for one a little bit brighter. So, zoom in a little bit. So, a sort of, not quite flat, but a more sort of standard paint, I guess. Then you've got a slightly glossier paint finish. Then the satin. And the last one, I couldn't quite... I suppose it is there. That's just a flat, isn't it? There's not any gloss to that. That's just more of a just a flat matte. Yeah. Um, 
so all those options that's your main color design color does the chassis and the boom so let's go with so that or the satin you can mix and match on those and then your rim color we've got a stainless steel a dark steel aluminium chrome polished and then we go on to sort of the standard colors you kind of i say you expect oh. um actually i wanted to check out the dark steel because i didn't oh, yeah Those are your options. Let's hook up to it. So, opening cover, L1 and left on the D-pad. As you can see, I've got a siege in the front, fertilizer in the back. Uh, pipe out. Nice animation, pipe comes out. So if you're loading into your cedars or whatever you're doing with it, if you've got crop in there, if you're putting it into a trailer or into a silo, whatever you might want to do. And then if I do it again, so obviously I haven't got my help window open, let's open that. So at the moment, L1, if I do pipe in. So pipe out will do my seed, as it says there, pipe out seed. So it depends what's in that. Um, before I put anything in it, it was pipe out one, pipe out two. Obviously, pipe out one is the seed, so it will go to my seed, it'll unload the seed. If I press it again, it switches it, although it's kind of imperceptible under here. It's just opening a different door underneath. Yeah, I can't think we can see the doors opening, can we? Anyway, then it switches to the next one to fertilizer and then closes down again um, but what we'll do is unload here solid fertilizer unload here just so you can see cover on to have lights on it work lights around the side Very nice. The Seed Runner 3755XL by 82 Studio, which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. Actually, I'll leave that there. And it's this. This is the 20 foot gooseneck trailer, also by 82 Studio, 7.68 megabytes download, three slots on console for the first one. We have a few different configuration options, as you can see. You can have it gooseneck, hook it onto um, uh, pickup. Uh, you can have it with a standard trailer back. Nice wide bed on this as well. Nice wide ramps. Um, I like the fact the ramp goes right the way across the back. Sometimes you get them with two single ramps, and sometimes they're either too narrow or too wide. The fact that it goes right, right the way across, you can get smaller vehicles on here as well. It does have straps, so you can strap down stuff. Now, obviously, this has got the same physics as um, FS22 low loaders seem to have now anyway so that when you go on and you put the straps on any vehicle will lock into place so there is kind of a locking script but you can also um strap down well anything you want on the back of there too so very handy some tire choice options as well so you can go for a more agricultural that's why i went for that one with a normal trailer hitch so you can hook up to a tractor and you've got more kind of balloon tractor tire type tires uh we've got some slightly more off-road ones and then there's an option for sort of more standard road tires um, the gooseneck does have an adjustment here as well so depending on the load you can raise and lower this to get it set nice and level nicely detailed uh, same thing with this nice options on color and that kind of thing too so if we go down to our low loaders on the end it's only eight grand as well result Slot count comes down from three to one. Our options on the actual bed itself, you can have wood or metal. I think I went for one of each, so we can see both in just a second. Well, I mean, we already have, but you can see. Uh, you've got branding. At the moment, it's on no. You can have yes, and it puts Lizard Logistics on there. I'm surprised that hasn't got 82 Studio on there for branding. Maybe it's not been allowed to. I don't know. Regardless. Um, attach a gooseneck. Or bumper pull. Well, I kept saying trailer. I mean, yeah, bumper pull was what I couldn't remember in my head what it was down as. Uh, bumper pull. Uh, we'll set up standard. More of a road tyre. Then you've got the knock-in. 
and then we've got wide ties. Main colour, let's zoom out a little bit. Pretty much the same as the seed tender, excuse me. Um, let's go for orange, for example. That's the satin. Slightly more various different gloss options. And then the more matte, flat version. Rim colour, again, we've got stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, chrome, polished new silver and then the standard colors color palette we're kind of used to oh sorry about that just dropped my controller <laughs> clumsy um those are your options was what i was going to say uh so what we'll do is so under l1 you should have got to the top left, we've got right stick up and down, so you can adjust that at the gooseneck end to get your level just right depending on what's on it. Go side to side, which will put those down if you want to manually lower your landing gear. Zoom out a bit. Uh, L1 and X unfolds. Now I think we just... There we go. I was say, because the angle I had it at the gooseneck at the front, the back was off the ground a little bit, as you can see the gap there. So if I just adjust ever so slightly, I can bring that down so it's level with the ground. Uh, straps on and off, and what we'll do is we'll put... Just put the tractor on the side of it. And you'll see it straps down as the other ones do. I am, I, I, like I say, I really do like the, the rear ramps. You can put a wide tractor like this on, but then you can also grab a skid steer loader or something like that that's much narrower and not have a problem. So if I strap there, you notice it kind of the whole tractor shifts. That will now be hopefully locked in place. Uh, we do have running lights down the side. Let's fold that up. And lights on the rear. That's a big old tractor for this pickup to be pulling. Trying to get a bit of speed up. Oh, it didn't like that. But the tractor on the back didn't move at all, as you saw. Very nice trailer. Like I say, like the ramps, like the price. Very nice indeed. And that is it for the mods for Friday the 21st of January. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.